Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video, I'd like to talk about Doctor Who. Specifically, I want to respond to some comments I got on my last speculative video about the 50th and the tiny wimey TARDIS, as I saw and noted little things uh, to do with the name of the Doctor, um, and John Hurt's potential air quotes Doctor and his maybe redemption, that kind of thing. I got some uh, comments from viewer Knight Rider 2120 that I thought I'd respond to as a video instead of just comment responses because, quite frankly, I love that YouTube gives us the ability to continue a conversation, keep the discussion going, and if anybody else out there wants to chime in on these, on these topics, um, the more the merrier, put it that way. So I've condensed the questions down, and uh, the first question in a nutshell was, do I think we'll be going back to Trenzalore, whether that translates to the 50th anniversary or Christmas when Matt Smith's supposed to leave, and uh, do I think Trenzalore will be involved in the death of the Doctor or whatever? Um, the thing about will we go back to Trenzalore is kind of a tricky thing to answer because, at least as far as I'm aware, we haven't left Trenzalore yet by the end of the name of the Doctor. I mean, you have the 11th Doctor and Clara going into his time scar or whatever, his soul, the embodiment of his life energy, and uh, where they're transported to, I think it's arguable what that is, whether it's supposed to be an alternate dimension or maybe a pocket universe, or one of the speculations I actually had that I omitted from my previous video was that could the 50th anniversary, could this all end up being sort of a conflict that takes place within the Doctor's psyche, within his mind, uh, which would account for the other Doctors being there, potentially looking morphed or different from how, you know, we know them. Uh, it would be inviting for, you know, classic Doctors to partake in appearing. And uh, I don't know if they're actually going to, but one of my questions was, would this be a conflict within the Doctor's mind or not? Uh, whatever you want to say about it, at least physically, we haven't seen the Doctor and Clara leave Trenzalore, so for all we know, this you know 50th anniversary battle, whatever the story is, could take place on Trenzalore as yet. Or, if not, if they leave Trenzalore, or we find out that they had left Trenzalore by the time the 50th happens, um, you know, chances are they will end up back there at some point, because I really do believe that this is meant to be the 11th Doctor's TARDIS specifically, from the crack in the window to the console room, and um, I really think that the fall of the 11th may actually be the physical death of the Doctor, and it may be John Hurt's air quotes, you know, forgotten Doctor, if you will, that is involved in making perhaps a new incarnation of the Doctor for the future, which really goes and falls in line with what Stephen Moffat has said he's wanted to do, assure the Doctor's future in a new way that has never been done before. Creating a whole new incarnation of the Doctor would definitely do that, for better or for worse. Um, speaking of the 50th, as far as Tennant and Piper go with their roles, you know, how are they going to be there if they don't have a TARDIS or whatever? I think the false assumption with that is that this is going to be the Metacrisis Doctor, and spoiler warning for anyone who doesn't know about this, um, I did come across a leaked image of the 10th Doctor's TARDIS at the 50th filming, so I think it's almost safe to say all bets are off that this is the genuine Article 10th Doctor. Will there be a paradox that ensues when 10 and 11 meet? Absolutely. Gotta be. Um, because essentially you had Time Crash where the 10th and 5th Doctors met. There was a paradox the size of Belgium, for crying out loud, and uh, that was because simply the Time Lords and stuff like that weren't there to keep the paradoxes at bay like they were in the classic series, Multiple Doctor Stories. As far as the cracks in the window signaling the cracks in time returning or the silence returning, I have no idea, um, but I do think it's irresponsible of Moffat if he doesn't have the silence come back at some point, because there are so many unresolved questions to do with them, from Madame Kavarian to why and how they were doing what they were doing, who they were working for or working with, and, uh, you know, even though I feel like the silence for me are kind of running their course as being an effective villain, I do want those answers given to us, and I hope we will get them. And the last question it's kind of for fun. Uh, you know, if an angel looks at a silence, does it move closer or does it forget? This is kind of like one of those age-old things. Uh, you know, who's going to win a fight, Daleks versus Cybermen? And I think the silence have the upper hand because even though they're imperceptible unless you look at them, the angels definitely will have an empathic sense to be able to detect them, I think, and they will remain frozen unless the lights go off, and then, boom, the angel wins. But I think the silence have the upper hand in that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on these questions. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below if you have anything to add or further speculation for the questions. And, yeah, let's keep the discussion going till the 50th when we'll hopefully get these answers. Otherwise, I'll catch you all later. Peace.